Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's another episode of Real Estate Jerky. Uh, and Mike Kelly's having some technical issues this morning because he's out helping at the Cantry. If we get him back in, we'll keep going. But I kind of want to just go over a couple things today. Um, everybody knows about that Fed came out yesterday. Uh, the CPI numbers came out yesterday better than expected, rallied the market in the morning. And then everybody started thinking, oh, it's not as great as it is. Let's just move on. Um, and the market gave back most of the the gains throughout the day. However, the bond market is still up. Um, rates have improved, and it's a better day for that. And it's going to continue going forward like that, where you're going to see some reports come in a little bit higher than expected or a little bit lower, and we're going to go forward, but nothing goes straight down. It's going to go down and up and down and up. But what was a really impressive story today, we know we are waiting on the Fed to change what they're going to do and, and their stance going forward. And that we're still thinking the Fed's going to hike 50 basis points a day. But the real question is, what are they going to say afterwards? Are they going to make any changes to what they're saying? There's a couple of different ways that this can go. Um, the Fed can acknowledge the improvement in inflation and still talk tough on inflation and their commitment, bring down the target. But, you know, that would help the market rally even more. Then the Fed could also say, you know, hey, we're looking to bring the market slower, cause more pain. Um, and they're looking for different changes. So we don't really know what's going to happen, and that's going to really key in on going forward. But there was something I read today that was really impressive. Um, Cass Freight, um, let me bring that up, um, is a report that measures shipping costs across the U.S. and can be an important sign of the economy, as all goods need to be shipped in some type of manner, as well as inflation. I have it on the screen in case you can't listen to me. Well, what they saw is the expended appointment of the CAS freight index, which measures the total amount of spent on freight rose 1.8% in November. But if you look at year over year basis, this in index decelerated from up 21% in, in September to up 11% in October to now only being up 4.7% in, in November. So what is this really saying is this, the market has loosened significant this year as a result of freight rates are leveling off and set a softer further in months to come. So that's a great thing for showing about inflation. Shippers are starting to see real savings, considerable cost relief going forward. And this is real big for inflation because without we're so worried about inflation and that is what's really driving interest rates. Whatever is said about inflation is telling you where interest rates are going. And that's all we're focused on. We're not really focused on in the mortgage industry, the side that I'm in. We're not focused on what the Fed says, what the Fed does, because Fed controls short term interest rates. Remember that they control credit card rates, overnight rates to banks, those kind of things. That's what they control. They do not control mortgage rates. However, what they did do in the past that helped was they bought so many of the mortgage-backed securities and at a period of time to keep the economy going and certain things going, that they're not doing that as much these days. So rates should, you know, if we were back where we were before when they were buying as much, we would have seen a significant drop in rates, unlike what we've been seeing. Also, you have to remember a couple of different things right now. Every loan that's being written right now will be refinanced in the next year, max two years, if not sooner. That means those loans that we do right now will be paid off and the people who are buying them won't make their money back on them. That's why we're not seeing the rates as low as they should be because of that fact. So they're trying to cut. And I've said this before, if I originate a $500,000 loan that costs 508,000 to originate that that person is buying on the secondary market, it takes them about four years to get their money back and move forward. Well, if they're not going to make their money back in four years, they're not really likely to go forward on giving you the lowest rate possible today. They need to make some of that money up front. And that's what's happening right now when we're pricing loans. It's across the board. It's everywhere. It's not one company over another one. So just understand that you're, whatever your rate you're getting now, we say you're going to date the rate and marry the price. So focus on getting the house. Don't focus on the rate. Focus on can you make the payment? What can you do? But don't, even though I'm saying this, don't put yourself in a situation to fail because that's not something we want you to do. And um, I heard today that the the thing that can take down somebody is, uh, and we'll move on. We'll talk about when Mike comes back on Friday or on the radio show when we record it. All right, everybody, make it a great day. Sorry Mike wasn't here, but he's out at the Cantry in Modesto. And if you are out there helping out, you should have been. 
um, I got to get ready to do some other things. So everybody, thank you for listening like you do. I really appreciate it. So does Mike and make it a great day. And I know it's a little short and sweet. Well, when we don't banner and going back and forth, it, we can get right to the points. But most important thing is we're seeing a huge change in inflation going forward. I hate to say it's not the Inflation Reduction Act that's doing it. Has That's in spite of itself, has nothing to do with what's going on. This other stuff is just coming into play and we're finally getting to where we want to be. So hopefully going forward, we're still at a 7.1% inflation rate. Hopefully that keeps going down. It should, but you know, next year will be, I was talking to somebody and they were saying how they're being told to be really careful. Next year is going to be really doom and gloom. I don't think it's going to be doom and gloom. I think it's just one of the biggest issues we have is so many people have 2.75, 3% interest rates, and they're not in a hurry to move from that into something else. And that's a huge difference. So the only way you're going to be selling houses or doing anything else is people moving and having to move. So that's just my point. And I want to thank you again. I know I was leaving, but I just something popped in my head. So everybody make it a great day and we'll talk to you again on Friday.